This short video will look at databases, going through what they are, why they are useful, how to access them, we'll highlight the main databases for your subject, and then we'll also look at some general databases that are useful for looking beyond your subject area. So first of all, we will look at what databases are. UCA subscribes to over 50 databases. Some of them, such as Academic OneFile that you can see here, will find sources across a range of topics, from the arts to the social sciences to technology and literature and so on. Whereas other resources, such as this one here, AdForum, are more specific and will just focus on one topic, which in this instance is advertising. Databases will provide a diverse range of sources, such as journal articles, newspaper articles, images, ebooks, moving images, sound clips, and more. Whereas here in the information about Academic One File, it tells us that it finds journal articles. Whereas below here, in this resource, the AJ Buildings Library, we can see that it has images and drawings and photographs. So they're quite different from each other. So now we're going to have a look at why databases are useful. They are accessed online, which means that you can use them from home and 24 hours a day and seven days a week. When you click on a database, you will be asked for your Athens username and password and will see a screen similar to this. If you don't know your Athens username and password, go to the My Library tab on My UCA for more details. Databases search the contents of ebooks and journals, unlike the library catalogue which will only search for the titles of them. For example here, on the library catalogue it tells me that we have the journal Blueprint. If I wanted to find a specific article within Blueprint, I would either have to browse through all of the uh, journals in the library to look for what I want, or alternatively I could use one of our databases. In this instance, I've used the database Design Applied Arts Index, and then I can search the contents of Blueprint here to find specific articles within it. This allows you to find sources that you otherwise wouldn't be able to find or locate. The majority of the sources you find will be in full text, meaning that you can read them instantly online and you will be able to download articles, sections of books to read offline or print out. For example, here there's a linked text to this record, and here there's a PDF that links directly from the record that I found. When you come across sources that don't have a full text link, like this one here, you can look up the title on the library catalogue. It might be that we have it in print or online through a different route. So I'm just going to copy the title of the journal here, which is Architectural Record, and search for it on the library catalogue. I found the record there. Um, so from here I can see that we've got it in Canterbury Library. Um, it's, on, it's a journal, so it's on the shelf. So it's just a case of finding it physically rather than reading it online. So now we're going to look at how to access databases. So they can be accessed via the library catalogue. You just need to go to the databases link on the left of the screen. There are also links on the My Library tab on My UCA and on the UCA library website. So once you reach this page, you'll find an A to Z list of all of the different databases that we subscribe to. I'm now going to take you through the databases that are useful for graphic design. So the first database I'm going to show you is called AdForum. So AdForum Creative Network is a, is a database full of different adverts from a range of media. For example, if I put in a brand here, we could search by media or country, etc. You'll then find a range of different adverts from TV, uh, print adverts, examples of packaging and so forth so it can be really useful for seeing how companies brand and promote their products 
So the next database is this one called Artful Text. So this one has references to and full text articles from art, design, advertising and architecture. So you can search for a graphic designer or a theme or an artist and you'll find uh, results on here. Um, often you'll see a full text link here so that will take you through to the article to read online. Alternatively, you'll get results here like this one it's saying this article is in Graphis. We actually have Graphis in the library so to check you just need to search the library catalogue for Graphis and then it will tell you you've got it and um, you could go and photocopy the print version of the article that way. So the next database is this one here, the Design Applied Arts Index. So this is probably the best one for graphic design students because it is searching pretty much solely design and graphic design journals so you can put in the name of your designer your term whatever it is that you're looking for here and you'll find a long list of results in some instances you'll get an option that says full text full text PDFs so that will take you through to the article in other instances on all other results it will say check QCA electronic and print holdings for the full text so that will search uh, to see if we've got it available elsewhere for you. Okay. So the next resource is this one called John Johnson. So this is the John Johnson kind of archive of printed ephemera. So it's got a collection of sort of digitized ephemera from lots of uh, I think at the eighteenth, nineteenth and twentieth century. So you can search here for keywords eras or years and you'll find lots of examples of printed materials from old magazines, adverts, newspapers, that sort of thing. So the next one is Stash. This one's only available on campus when you're at UCA. So it's like a, an online collection of videos. So each issue has a selection of videos in adverts, short animations, motion graphics, that sort of thing. So the next resource is Underground and Independent Comics. So it's a collection of digitised comics books and graphic novels. These tend to be ones that haven't been digitised and published elsewhere. So they're, so they're quite, um, quite... There may be ones that you haven't heard of and you can browse them by publisher or people or theme or genre. So the final resource I'm going to show you is this one here called Walk, which is the World Advertising Research Centre. So it's a collection of reports and articles about advertising. So if it's uh, something that you're interested in finding more about, such as a brand or a type of media or the type of advertising, you could search for it in here and find lots and lots of full text material immediately that you can download or look at online. And now we're going to look at a couple of general databases. These are useful for students on any course. You will find material on art and design, but you will also find material on other topics such as politics, science and philosophy. So first of all is the article and book chapter search. This appears at the top of the A to Z list of databases and it searches across a number but not all of the resources in the list. It's very useful because it searches the full text of the material that's held within it. So if your search term appears within an article or, a, or an ebook, it will appear in your results list. It is also excellent if you are researching a specific theorist or writer, as not only will you find their writings, you will also find other writers' interpretations of their work and other writers' opinions on the work of your original theorist, which is very useful in kind of helping you get a more balanced picture on the person you're researching. So the second resource is Nexus. This searches across global news and business sources from around the world. So one huge benefit of Nexus 
is that everything that you find will be in full text so you can either read it online or print it out. So it's very good for looking up information from and about other countries because it includes material not just from the UK and America. And it's also good for looking at how events or artworks have been interpreted by both broadsheet and the tabloid press as it features a quite a wide range of news sources.